Coach, uh, I need you to help me right away. I, I have to get my results going again. And um, I'm worried that I won't be able to get it going again. You're telling me you're worried about your results. And uh, that's having an effect on you. But um, how's the worry working? Is it fixing things for you because you worry? And uh, of course, we all know the answer to that one. And then I say to them, listen, the solution is much simpler than your brain is now imagining. But let's look at worry for a moment. Look, you have a mother? Why don't you leave the worrying up to your mother? We have more important things to work on and focus on than that. You know, mothers bless their hearts will say stuff like, oh my, I can't see my son in this state. He just looks so stressed and he's so unhappy and I'll do whatever I can to help him. <laughs> so turn the worrying over to your mom. We all have a mother or had a mother somewhere. Or even better, uh, turn your worrying over to God. Um, which reminds me, <laughs> Here I am in a minor league game, and uh, this pitcher was probably 27 years old, and the mother was sitting behind me in the stands, and uh, every time her son would, would start the inning, she'd put a towel over her head. <laughs> and I said to her, why do you put, I noticed, I said, why do you put the towel over your head? She said, I can't stand to watch my son pitch. Can you, now, can you see the humor in that? <laughs> she can't stand to watch her son pitch. This is so crazy, but that's what moms are. They, they're worriers. She's worried that her son won't perform, and she doesn't uh, want to watch him fail. She only wants to see him well. So, my young friend, you're in great hands. Uh, you're going to have your mother and God doing the worrying about your results for you. Now let's us get to work on stuff that's going to immediately improve your chances of having better results. So when we worry, it's because our mind has gone into the future and is worried about striking out or losing my place in the batting order, any one of a number of things. Now the solution for this is we have to bring our attention our focus into the present moment. As a hitter, the only thing that we want to have our focus on is on the ball. So to do this, we developed a pitch drill. Now this came from uh, Timothy Galway, but uh, it's, a, it's a great drill to force your mind or pull your mind into the present moment with the ball. So you're gonna say the word pitch at the instant the ball's coming out of my hand. And you're, and you're trying to line it up as close to release as possible. So I'm gonna come set, then I'll break from set, and so on. Pitch. So Kurt, you had your first round. What did you notice in your vision when you were saying the word pitch? Well, I found, <laughs> as soon as my timing was on with pitch, I could see it all the way. You were seeing the ball a lot better. Yeah, it wasn't just better out of hand, but I could see it. All the way better. 